of the year. And it looks like, guys, it's a bit of a two-horse race between Mo Salah and Kevin De Bruyne. So we thought we'd get your thoughts on who you'd vote for. Now, Dean, I know that you're going Mo Salah. Robbie, you're Kevin De Bruyne. But JJ, you've thrown in a bit of a curveball for us, and you're you're on the fence. You've you've kind of yeah, not, gone back and forth. Yeah, it's not it's not a curveball. It's just that I, I, I'm struggling because obviously, you know, from a midfielder's point of view, you know, I, I can only just uh, love the the artistry, the, uh, the the creative element to De Bruyne and what he's brought to the, the table this season. But I, I'm struggling to ignore obviously the fact that it's Salah's first season and what's he scored? Yeah. Thirty odd goals. Twenty eight goals in I the Premier League. Yeah. I'm the fence sitter today, and I'm going to let these two. Well, Dean, it out. let's start with Mo. Then, have can you ever recall a player coming to the Premier League and hitting the ground running as well as he's done? No, and he's not. He's not gone through a little bad patch either. He's, he seems to score every game, and considering he's got. 28 goals and he's playing on the right. He's not even playing up the middle. Yeah. So there's a, the only crosses he get on the end of is coming from the other side. He's not getting them from both sides. So I just think he's just made an unbelievable impact. But there's still a lot of games left. There's some big games coming up. Yeah. De Bruyne has done brilliant. I mean, it, it's, a, it's like that for me. Mm. In terms of Salah, though, he scored on his own more goals than four Premier League teams have done all together this season. One of those teams is seventh place Burnley. It's quite incredible, isn't it? Yeah, and he's just he's, he's scoring headers, tappings, he's, he's bending them in the top corner, he's scoring in the big games, he's, he's scoring in games where there's, there's nothing on the game and it's nil-nil ten minutes to go. He seems to get on the end of things, he follows in. Also, he runs without the ball in behind defences, which causes space for other players to get on the, on, on the ball. Because of all of that, do you think he can actually beat that Premier League all-time record, Shearer and Cole's 34 goals in one season? I think he can. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he started next season and he didn't, he didn't score for a while. I think he's just having one of them freak purple patches. He's obviously a good player yeah. and he's playing with a lot of confidence. But I'd like to see them both in the same team, De Bruyne oh, and Salah. That would be that good. Be a thing. Well, Robbie, make your case for Kevin then. Well, I, I'm with JJ a little bit. I, I think it could go either way. I think that as the votes were in last week, I think, or, or the week before, I think Mo Salah had the momentum because he's got the four goals and mm. City didn't have a game. So Mo Salah, when you were, we, we've all sat there in the, in the canteen or wherever voting, and I think because City did have a game and Mo Salah scored four, he would have been on the people's thoughts. So I think Mo Salah will pr probably win it, but I would go for Kevin De Bruyne, mm. you know, because, as Jermaine says, his angle of passing, you know, he's the best player in the best team. And I know it's an individual award, but hypothetically, City could win three trophies. Mm. City could win the Chapman's League, they've won the Premier League, Neely, and the League Cup. So you could have the best player in the best team winning three trophies, the Chapman's League, and not winning the domestic player of the season, which mm. I find quite hard. You know, and... Didina talked about more Salah scoring goals there, you know, but Kevin De Bruyne, he's, 10 of his goals or assists have led to points for his side, where Salah's only got six goals which have led to points for his side. So, and De Bruyne's created more chances, um, nearly double the amount of chances for his side. 96 Salah. chances but he's created this saying season. saying that, Dino, listen, Salah's been magnificent, yeah. 28 goals. The hardest wide. thing to do on a football pitch is to score goals, as you found out in your career. <laughs> <laughs> Jermaine, perhaps this helps you make your decision if you're kind of on the fence with both of them, you can't quite decide. Yeah. So Who would be missed more mm. out of their team? Salah. Um, I just think he would be. Uh, look, I, just, I think the way Salah has took the, uh, took the reins from Coutinho having left of that kind of um, that focal point, it's almost helped him in a way, you know, in kind of, instead of shearing the load as a player, I had a bit of a situation at Spurs when we had Bale and it was like, right, get the ball to Bale, get the ball to him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he might have a few dribbles, lose a couple of you know, balls or whatever. You give it him back, give it him again, give it again, make him create. And when you've got those star qualities in your side, you feed them. And I think when Coutinho was there, maybe it was kind of going to one or two, whereas now it's yeah. all Salah. So I think, I, I personally think Liverpool would miss Salah more than... Uh, I think they play the, they suit, the way they play suits him as well. Mm -hmm. Well, if you think about who could come in as well for City, you know, Gundogan's done a great job when Silva's been out. 
um, you know, Sane. Still. They've got a number of players that have really kind of stood up to the test. I just think Salah would be the one. Yeah, we thought we'd give you guys a vote as well. So we put a poll out on our Twitter page, BT Sports Score. You can still vote on this now. Who should be crowned the player of the season? Mo Salah is winning this by quite some yeah, way. Pause, Adon. 73% of the Adon, vote Adon, Adon, for Adon, Salah, 27 for Well, they're and answers because they could be all Liverpool fans. A lot of Liverpool right? fans on Twitter. So, and um, listen, when I... Oh, sorry. oh Robbie! Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Is it Mo Salah? It was only because it was Robbie. It was only because it was Robbie. It's my mum. It's my mum. She always phones me before I do a show and says, good luck, son. How are you doing? Radio later. I didn't know your mum's name was Troy. Two weeks radio. It's not. Mum. Mum. So, let's get back to the tweets from you guys as well. Patrick says, De Bruyne is so much more than goals and assists on a stat line. Richard Sock says... Obviously, for me, it's Salah by a country mile now. He's up there with Messi and Ronaldo this season. He might not be next season, but this year, definitely. Last night, Ian Rush was given the, a legend award in London. Did they, you give it him, Dino? He said... <laughs> um, the mayor of London gave it to him, actually. And he, he, said, he said last night that when he watched him play in that Watford game, when he got the four goals and the assist, he said in that game, he was as good as Messi and Ronaldo. Do you agree? Uh, being honest, no. I think them two are just not normal. Yeah. Uh, Salah's a normal, like us, we were normal footballers. <laughs> um, they, them two do things, well, they get 50 goals a season each every year, 10 years. I think it's fair to say he's, he's getting into another bracket of players like Eddie Hazard, who kind of are, are chomping away at that, 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 that bracket of getting into stardom. But I mean, it always annoys me when people try and associate players with Messi and Ronaldo because mm. they are freaks as Dino said they are just sensational players but in terms of that next layer of players you know he's, he's, he's getting in amongst yeah. it and it won't be long before you know a few that those clubs the thing is with them in. two every week managers set up the team to stop them doing what they do and they still yeah. manage to get around it yeah. so Salah's got to come to that point where they're going to man mark him but he's done that this year in fairness he, yeah but not every year you know like no, they, but I'm they, saying they, just specifically to talk about this year he, uh, you can't tell me that managers have not looked at Liverpool and gone, listen, he's the main threat, we need to stop him. And he's still managed to Ashley Young, score goals. Ashley Young. Well, well that's how, that, that's, that there tells you how, kind of, how well he's done. The fact that you can name the one player mm -hmm. that managed to stop yeah, him tells you how well he's, he's done. He's done brilliantly. Now, you guys all played in the Premier League, so you've all taken part in this voting process, which yeah. must be quite strange in the middle of a season having to vote for a player of, of an, another team that you're going to play against or have played against. Now, JJ won the Young Player of the Year when you were playing, Robbie. Did you vote for him? I can't remember. I, uh... I, can't, remember. But I, can't, I can't remember. But <laughs> what you tend to do, Jules, we've all done it, you'll sit in the canteen, you'll sit in the change room, um, um, you'll have the forms, and then you'll basically, you know, might do a Welsh eleven. Yeah, did I take it seriously? Probably not. You know, you vote for your mates. Mm. You'll be sitting around the table and say, I don't vote for him. I was going to ask, is there any tactical voting at all? Did you ever not yeah, vote think... for a player because you didn't like how they were with you in a game yeah. and played against them? But when, you, when you're playing in, in the top four teams and you, you, you're all trying to win the league, I, I would never vote for Man United players if I, when I was at Liverpool yeah. because... Ian Rush was going to probably <laughs> win the vote to be centre forward in yeah. that team, so I wouldn't yeah. vote for Cantona. Um, and you won't want to give him anything. JJ, really. did you ever vote for any Arsenal players? Well, when I, when I won the young player, I was at Newcastle. So it was. Um, it, Bellamy won it the year before me, and I remember specifically not going for anybody that I thought was in competition with him. Yeah. And the year I won it, like Rooney was like my big competition, and everybody, even though he, he might have deserved it, Nobody voted for him in the Newcastle team because they wanted me to win it. And that's just how it, you know, that's how it works. Was there a rule, kind of, amongst mates, let's, let's not vote for any Arsenal players? Well, at Spurs? Yeah. Probably, yeah. I don't <laughs> think it was a given. I mean, listen, when Thierry Henry was there, I think if you're a footballing kind of purist and love the game, you can't not vote for Thierry Henry uh -huh. and what he brought to the game. So the, I'd be we surprised if he didn't vote for The vote's really? too early as well. The vote's too early. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Because Liverpool play Man City now in the Champions League quarter-final. Mm. And if De Bruyne is unbelievable and Salah's quiet, that could affect, that could change people's voting. So the, the vote's far too early. In, mm. The voting in March. Yeah. And the crunch of the games, season. like you said, crunch the crunch games. games. And the top players producing the big games. Like Sergio Aguero's never been in the PFA team of the year, which is like, I mm. can't believe that. Ridiculous. Why is, why is that? JJ, did you ever vote for Sav? No, don't be silly, Jules. You have to be a decent player to get no, on. Not even on Strictly. <laughs> I definitely vote for him. <laughs> <laughs> Sav was in the best-looking team. 
Thanks, Dino. What? Did, did you have that? There was it a best-looking team. There was an ugly team. Was, he was in that one as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness me. Uh, keep your tweets coming in. Daniel Hughes says, uh, Salah, as a winger, 28 goals, oh, wow. can beat the Premier League record on his first season. And look at the players that played in the Premier League uh, at the time when they won. Sean Wood, on amount of goals scored and all-round skill, it has to be Salah for me. And I'm a United fan, so it hurts saying that. Uh, Matt James says, De Bruyne for me, football's not just about the goal. He's controlled the games for by far the best team in the Premier League. And Damian Brown, Salah's been very consistent all season. Player of the year for me, hands down. If I, if I had a choice now, next season, and this is just me speaking, these two might pro probably disagree. Mm. If I could pick a, a starting three, you know, or, or if I could pick between Sane and Salah, I'd have Sane. I would. I, will, I just think he is unbelievable. I think he should be young player. If he qualifies, I'm not sure. Yeah, he does, yeah. He, he qualifies. Young, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think San has got to be young player of the season. Yeah, okay. Well, Danny Simpson actually put his votes up, didn't he? And uh, he actually voted for Leroy Sané as his young player. Well, you have Hazard. What? And his you have Hazard before it. player was Mo Salah. My front th before who? So you've got Hazard, Sané Hazard and Salah. Who would you have? I'd have Willian at the minute instead of Hazard. I think Willian's been magnificent. I think he's in form I, I, at the come, moment. Come on, JJ. I want to know who, who you your three want? were. Me three up front. Who would I have next season? Start yeah. next season. I'd have Sane, definitely. Yeah. I'd have with Salah. Harry. I'd have Harry Kane. Yeah, and Salah would Is be he, in there instead of Aguero. That's a close one. You'd have to have Harry Kane. Aguero or Kane. <laughs> so your big, your big point was the fact that you'd got you'd have Sane over choice, Salah. Yeah, next start next yeah. year. If I had a, if I was if I had a pick. Straight oh, to he scored again. <laughs> Has he just scored? I tell, tell you what, Jill. Yeah. I tell you what, Jill. I tell you what, I'd have Salah in my star next year. He's Salah got to win, he's got to win player of the year now. I tell you what, he's brilliant. One up over Crystal Palace, and that is his wow. 29th goal in the Premier League this season. It really is quite incredible.